they'll make it all night. Drop ball by Des Harrison. Strength of the tackle from Andy Currier, knocking the ball from his grasp. Well, I'm not so sure about that. I thought he may have had a little bit of a hand to pull it to him. It's a very difficult rule, that, though, Mike, for not only the commentators, but the referees to interpret. It should, we were talking about it on boots and all this week. They've got to do something quickly about it. It's causing, as you say, a lot of confusion. No confusion about this Rovers performance, though. We've got witness searching for the key to open this defence. Has David Hume got that key? Well, he's on his own at the moment. That's a great run from the scrum half. Witness still on the attack. They've got support aplenty. That's Paul Hume. And he's grounded. Alice laying all over him. It's got to be a penalty. Not only a penalty, but he should go and take a visit. That's sin bin stuff. Look, he's dragged them down. They're all over him. Witness is setting up in the background, trying to get ready for the pass. And look at all, look at him. Oh, come on. He... That's a professional foul. He should take a, a rest. Ten minutes. And that's from a man who refereed this morning. So why shouldn't he have an opinion? And we hear that uh, Fred Lindop uh, was quite impressed. Fred Lindop, the controller of referees. He was there too. No this comment. Is no comment. <laughs> We'll see in Boots and All on Thursday night, 7 o'clock, McCurry. Support arrived from Holiday, McCurry just held a metre short of the line. David Hume, Tony Myler, Richie Ayres, good tackling that was from Harrison, Chris Harrison. Ball out wide, looking for Sarsby and it's dropped. Ayres plays soccer with it, it'll have to come back. Well, this was a typical mistake from witness that we've seen all night. They really are not getting things together. Oh, they're in for a real roasting from their coach, Myler. Well, five all, the statistics tell us, in the handling errors. George Ferber won't be too pleased about that either, but what he will be pleased about is the fact that Rovers are 8-0 ahead. Witness trying to keep Rovers back there. Real collision between uh, Les Holiday and Chris Harrison. Here's the try scorer Richardson ducking under the challenge from Grimmer for Milo finished him off. I told you these two Harrison brothers would see plenty of it. This now is Speckman. And there's the other Harrison. Oh, it's Lee Richardson, the uh, hooker, the try scorer. I tell you what, Witness don't realize that Hulk Hayard have got legs. Chatfield trying to keep that ball alive and he does so Fletcher the bomb Spruce coming for it Devro heard the call and Dean Clark it was who got him this was a lovely kick but good play here by Spruce he kept his goal there and Clark really battled him didn't he and Eddie, I just can't believe that witness. All they're trying to do is hit their, not their heads off, their shoulders. Don't they realize that they can't run without the legs? Holiday. Myler, this is better. And that's a great run from Darren Wright. Sarsfield's had to come inside, but Wright's all on his own, looking round for the support seat. Sarsfield have cut it field. The witness keep on coming with Tony Myler the back door to Holiday. Holiday feeds the ball to McCurry. Waited so long this season as Stephen McCurry for his chance. Got it tonight because McKenzie is out injured. Last tackle. Attempted. I thought he was going to attempt to drop goal there, Holiday. Instead, he hoists the midfield bomb. It's almost gone backwards, that. Currier continues to move. It's now with Hume, now Devereaux. Devereaux fancies a run at them. Mike Fletcher's there going to get out of trouble. Great play from the fullback and captain. Wonderful play there by Fletcher. He kept his cool. He realized Devereaux was steaming onto him. One step, ran to the blind side and gets him into the field of play. Well, half a 
of Humberside, of course, disappointed that Hull aren't going to Wembley this year after yesterday's semi-final. But the other half of Humberside, the Robins half, here in East Hull, they might fancy a trip to Old Trafford. That ball's broken. And here come Rovers again. That's great support play from Hallis. He's been fed by Chatfield, but he's been brought back for a forward pass. And you know the referee is correct. Chatfield bombed it. You'll see it here. He holds it too long, and I'm afraid the referee is correct. The crowd are going berserk. You'll see it here. Now he holds him back. Here comes the ball. Yep, it's forward. Gary Chatfield. The scrum half consistent in the 18. Graham Hallis pulled back. Witness have the ball from the scrum. That's great play from Tony Myler. Let's not forget, as I said earlier, Witness without many of their star players as Rovers are pinned for offside. The likes of Jonathan Davis who can turn a match. Well, you can see the referee shouting. Now, well, the player come on the blind side. There's a lot of people within this game saying that if they're not interfering with the play when it goes on the blind, does it really matter? Well, the man with the whistle thought so. So witness try again with Sarsfield. Witness shading the penalty count. Richie Ayres. Collision with Des Harrison. McCurry is the dummy half. Good defense again from the Rovers. Holiday. Feed the ball in field to Grimmer. Grimmer out of the back door to Darren Wright, but too clever. Darren Wright was steaming up, but just didn't think that that ball was coming, I don't think. Well, you can see here Grimmer trying to keep the ball alive. Now, Wright probably called for that. He was in the field with, and there was quite a few people around him. But once again, witness, uh, they're just panicking. They are not respecting the football. 25 minutes of this match gone. Another impressive... Opening 25 minutes on Sky for Hulkingston Rovers. Andy Thompson. Smothered by Holiday. The amazing thing about it Eddie, is that the Rovers, they're just playing simple, basic football. Hitting the man, turning, and looking for the man in support. Nothing flashy about it. But believe you me, it's working. Paul Fletcher holding on. Richardson back to Chatfield. This now is Paul Speckman. And it's the fifth tackle. Rovers still deep in their own territory. Mike Fletcher with the kick. Now that looks like it might go all the way out, and it does. Mistake from the captain. He won't be happy with this. You can see how it spiralled away there. Good judgment that was from uh, Mark Sarsfield on that far touchline, the witness man. And the ball does that in rugby league. It's brought back to where the kick was taken from. And so witness now in the danger zone. Paul Hume. Oh, straight through Paul Hume. Got the strength, has he? Yes. Good try. Great individual effort from Paul Hume. And witness 8-0 down are back on the score sheet and back in the match. The Stones Better Championship replay will see the little dummy. That's just a little shuffle. And for once, the Rovers' defence, they came up too quickly. He went inside. Wonderful play here. Hume really does have the speed. Now, you'll see Hume just throw the little dummy. It's a little step. And for once, the Rovers' defence were cut to ribbons. They allowed him. They went up too quickly. Loud, take the dummy. That really is a great try. Paul Hume. And it is his first try this season. Plays anywhere, does Paul Hume try for him tonight from the second row. And John Devereaux has the goal-kicking responsibilities. He kicked like a veteran last week at Headingley. What does Humberside have in store for him? Well, it has two points for a start. Goodness are back in the hunt here. Kingston Rovers.